So here's what happened. The other night I was in my hotel room. I looked outside my window and Damon Fryer's car was parked outside of my hotel. Now if you don't know who Damon Fryer is, I don't really know exactly why you're watching this video, but welcome. Uh, let me break it down to you. Daily Driven Exotics is a very popular automotive YouTube channel where supercar owners drive the crap out of their supercars rather than just parking them in a garage and them never seeing the light of day again, like a lot of supercar owners are stereotypes to do. And Damon Fryer runs Daily Driven Exotics. So, the other night I was inside my hotel room and I looked outside my window and Damon Fryer's car was parked outside of my hotel, the same hotel that I was staying in. So, being that I'm pretty new to the British Columbia area, I've only been here for a couple of weeks and I spent half of my time in quarantine and I'm very unfamiliar with the car culture out here. So when I saw a familiar car, I kind of took the opportunity and ran with it. So I wrote a handwritten note, it was pretty lengthy, ran downstairs, took my camera with me, took some b-roll of his car, made a little video out of it, left the note on his car, went back upstairs, edited the video, put it up on YouTube. The video went freaking viral for my little channel, okay? In my little corner of YouTube, that video got a lot of traction. Now that video got so much traction that I ended up on Life of Paulos, which is another very popular automotive YouTube channel where he basically just covers daily supercar news. I love his channel because it kind of breaks down everything that's been going on into a short little 10 minute video for everybody to just watch before they go to sleep at night. I absolutely love it. So for me to end up on Life of Paulos was kind of crazy in a sense. I actually found out that I was on Life of Paulos because somebody left a comment on my YouTube video saying that I was on Life of Paulos. So I couldn't believe it. I grabbed my camera right away, sat down, clicked on his latest video, and there I was in his video. Yo. 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 <laughs> Actually, literally, like, this was posted 20 freaking minutes ago. I have not even watched this yet. Disclaimer on the next story we're doing on Daily German Exotic. I'm so nervous. Positive story overall, nothing negative whatsoever. Okay. Helmet hair with two R's. <laughs> hair. That's me. I think it's a very heartwarming thing for her to reach out to Damon and Daily German Exotics in this particular way. And YouTube channels have exploded for weirder reasons than this. So I'm cheering for you, helmet hair. I hope you get your collaboration. Wouldn't that be a cool thing to see? Next up, there's a head to cover. That's me! Oh my god! That was literally me, like, right now, like, on Life of Apollo, that shit's nuts. That was, like, so crazy for me to just watch right now. Oh, that's so cool! That's so freaking lit! And also, Damon Fryer did reach out to me, so stay tuned. <laughs> which was also super crazy for me. So this entire time, I've been asked the same two questions repeatedly. What did the note say that you left on Damon Fryer's car and did he reach out to you? Here's what the note said. I basically just introduced myself and I said, hi, my name is Bree Lynch. I'm a professional stunt driver. I just got moved out here for work. Very unfamiliar with the area and with the car culture out here. I would love some guidance because I also run an automotive YouTube channel. So I was basically just looking for some guidance and some direction in the car community out here. Like if there's a meet every Friday at a specific donut shop that I should know about because only the locals would know it, that's the kind of information that I want to know so that I can continue to connect with the car community out here. Now, a lot of my YouTube subscribers and Instagram followers have been tagging Daily Driven Exotic since I got to Canada like about a month ago and they've been trying to see if I could get a collaboration with Daily Driven Exotics because that's something that they really want to see. That was not necessarily in response to me putting the note on Damon Fryer's car. But of course, since I put the note on Damon Fryer's car and it was like a call for immediate attention, everybody's been wondering if Damon Fryer actually reached out to me or not. And I'm just gonna leave you with this. So I guess I'll be seeing you very soon. <laughs>